Hey there, I'm Orwa Usopp, and this is more Day of the Tentacle, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Mummy. Cool, the room clerk's a mummy. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. Oh. I have something for Red Edison. Do you know where I could find him? You can talk to the mummy, isn't that awesome? Great hat, man. That is a great hat. I know some dudes in a band who'd eat roaches for hats like that. <laughs> okay, I'm done talking to you. Know where I could get them a couple of hats extra big? Later, dude. Later, dude. Alright. Whoa, who's the shaky guy? John Hancock. Must have poor circulation. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Well, why don't you put a coat on? I'm wearing a coat, you nitwit. I've even got this blanket which makes me itch and I'm still freezing. You have a what? I have a what? Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Why in the name of God do you need a log for... He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was called, we'd get some heat in here. Hmm... How come you sign your name so big? I've always wondered that. Astigmatism. <laughs> That's where your joints hurt, right? All right. The, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c crazy over guys with a big signature. Yeah, sure. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... The what? We are drafting a constitution for the United States. Well, goodness. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. Wimp. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Because of the scandal. Oh, no. I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. Yikes. You say that as though it was a bad thing. <laughs> Do That's you awesome. have any idea how much it costs to fix a wall these days? It's a racket. Okay, that's, uh... Well, I gotta go, dude. All right, he's cold. Whoa, George Washington. He looks oddly familiar. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. And lots of men lost cool. fingers and toes to frostbite. Extremely. Alright, no point in talking to him. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Okay.
filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. You're going to put a log in it? Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. You're going to put a log in the... T How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Uh, no thanks. Later, bra. Alright. What? What's going to happen later? Alright. Hey, a suggestion box. Let's put the flyer in the suggestion box. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. <laughs> Maybe somebody should take a look. Subtle, Hoagie. Subtle. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, d to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Where Don't you agree? Where do you get these ideas? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. Where do you get these ideas, man? What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Hmm, whatever you say, George. <laughs> and just Your like that. On it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. I notice yeah. he doesn't stop to correct them. It's strange. I don't quite... Oh, wait, he thinks he did well, it. Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. He if thinks he did no it. Good Lord. We shall add it to the Constitution immediately. We're screwing with history here! You know? And Look, it's awesome! And so shall it be law. Alright. What's a vacuum cleaner? Dun dun dun! Alright, there is now a vacuum cleaner in the basement. Oil. Mmm, salad oil. Spaghetti. Anything else? Does water pump work? Just gonna use the water pump. What's in here? Ooh, can I has bucket? I can has bucket! Bitch it. Okay. Yay! I got a brush! A guy is it a female brush or maybe it's a guy brush? I'm not sure. Use water pump with bucket. <laughs> That's an efficient thing. Alright, let's go. Let's get a move on. Can we use the brush with the bucket? Nothing to clean in here. Alright. Meanwhilst! How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. Then Dubya right. would never get to be president. Alright. Anyway, there's only one dirty thing I've seen so far. So let's... I won't be able to get it very clean without soap. Oh, okay. I need soap. Forgot about that. Like I said, I'm going off a of memory here. So, let's keep looking around. Hey, the passage is still there. Oh, I did not need to see that. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. 
Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Yeah, he reads those. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. Oh. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Yeah, that'll never work. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was artists. Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, Jed, we Ned, Fred, rate, the Edisons have a naming tendency. On their mother's side. Maybe so. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Alright, let's give him the battery plans. Mmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil and vinegar and some gold. Huh, alright. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. Now I need to find vinegar and gold. Good lord. Alright, let's look upstairs. I bet you there's all kinds of interesting things upstairs. George sleeps here. Okay. Interesting. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Okay, hey, okay. chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. Okay. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Well, we don't have a pattern, so let's get out of here. Hey! Free booze. Chateau de Chipo, 1775. <laughs> Never mind, lousy free booze. All right. Let's head on out of here. Oh, wait, wait. Is, can we go this way? I can't remember. I really do not remember. Is this a direction we can go? It is. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Oh, okay. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Just a horse. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? Wandering around looking for stuff. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. I gotta go. See, See you later. later. That was my line. Whoa. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? No. Even our dear father can't tell us apart. 
He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. <laughs> Hold still, Jed! Now we so, know! I'm almost too frightened to ask. Are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? <laughs> no. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Uh. Don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Okay. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please oh, go away. Well, we thank, artists yeah. are very sensitive to your kind of people. Ouch. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, time to stop. I'll see you next video.